How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Geordie Geek. Welcome back to the channel for another 1-6 scale action figure unboxing. And I'm excited. We're looking at Skeletor today, one of my favourite characters from the amazing Masters of the Universe 80s cartoon series. And cartoons going up till present day. Skeletor is a character I remember from my childhood and I absolutely loved him. Always having great fun battling He-Man and all that kind of jazz. Just a superb character and an integral part of my childhood. I've got a lot of Masters of the Universe stuff. I picked up these Mondo figures um, recently. So I've got four of the action figures and I've pre-booked Battle Cat. Oh, it's a beaut. But I needed Skeletor. Now Skeletor um, was really hard to come by because it's an older figure. But someone was selling it on eBay and I managed to pick it up for a steal. Even better, it was the exclusive which gets a, um, a, an add-on from the Masters movie, which I hated. But you get the Cosmic Key. Um, so that was a bit of a bonus. Now, let's get into the package and see what it's like. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's Skeletor laughing for you. Shit. Okay, so let's have a look at the box. Now, one thing I will say is these Mondo boxes are always stunning. Amazing image of Snake Mountain there. Um, really really beautiful artwork i wish hot toys would put a bit of effort in like this because these boxes really are stunning so this is the outer case you then take this off and um, so you slip it off like this and inside you have this now this is a beautiful purple foil image of skeletor it's got masters we've got hey <laughs> the exclusive version um and it's made by mondo as i said again nothing really on the sides there You've got another lovely image of Skeletor on the back. No cack on the back on Mondo figures. Um, and again, nice clean slides. Now, what I like about this is it's openable. 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 You open it like that. Um, and on the side here, we've got a bit of a character bio, a little bit of information about Skeletor, which is quite interesting. And you can see the actual figure inside. He looks amazing. Look at him. Um, already, the colours are just jumping out. There's a the cosmic key there. He looks phenomenal. Right. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's get him out and have a look. <gasps> look at that. This, the, I, I cannot, <sighs> um, I'm blown away by the quality of this figure straight away. The, the colour work, the paintwork on it is absolutely amazing. Far better than the other Masters figures I've got. Um, you get a ton of accessories, so you get this. This is kind of a, a bone sword. Um, it's got some nice paintwork on it. I, I do wish some of these weapons would be die cast, but you know, you, you can't get everything, I guess. But yeah, that's a nice sword. You get this sword, which is stunning. So this is his kind of his, his power sword. Um, it's really, really well done. It's got a lovely um, kind of ram's head on the top of it there, look. It just looks phenomenal, and it's huge. Um, re oh, sharp. Really, really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. It looks superb, and it's sharp. Um, next, we get this. This is a battle axe, um, which I have no idea what this bloody big pearl thing has got. I don't remember that in the cartoon. Let us know in the comments if that's cartoon accurate. I can't remember that. But I won't be using it because of that stupid thing. Um, you get the sheath for the sword and this slides into his back. It's a canny chunky piece, um, but the sword slides in nicely to it. So if you want that displayed on his back, you can do. Pretty nice. Next, you get this, the cosmic key. Now, I like this much more than I thought I would. I wasn't really that bothered about it being the special edition, but this is really, really cool. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the movie, but that's quite nice. I like it. What in the shit? I have no idea what this is. Add it again. Don't remember this from the cartoon. Let us know in the comments what the hell that is. Um, as with most 1 6th scale action figures, you get a whole host of hands. and uh, Different kind of gripping hands, punching hands, and all that kind of jazz. Skeletor's got some stunners, I have to say. You've got kind of this reaching out evil hand kind of thing going on there. And what I would say is the paintwork on these is stunning. The nails are sharp and the painted black. I absolutely love them. Great quality. <laughs> you get the kind of the Filmation classic skeletal head if you want to put that on and totally ruin the look of your figure. It's up to you. Um, you get his cape. This is weighty. Just holding it in the, in the bag here. It's got a ton of weight, so I'm interested to get into that. And then you've got his ha Havoc staff. This is a ton of weight. It's nicely done. I like the ram's head on the top here. It's pretty accurate to the uh, the, the cartoon. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. It's bigger than I expected. It's huge. But yeah, good, good stuff. Right, let's get his cape on him. Oh, look at the figure. Right, now, this cape is bloody massive. 
It's very good quality. It's got a chain which slides around his neck. It doesn't clip in anywhere. It's double sided, so it's black on one side, point bolt on the other side. It is very thick, heavy material. It's much heavier and better quality than I expected. It drapes very nicely. Would it be nice to have some wire work in it so you could pose it a little bit more? It does have this big slice out the back here so you can put that sword sheath on and have it through. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's big, it's big. But yeah, I'm sure I'll pose it nicely. The mouth of Skeleto is stunning. So basically the head pops out a little bit so you can move it around inside the, the kind of the hood. Um, and as you can see, if you angle it right, you can open his jaw right up so you can have him screaming and laughing. This is amazing. I wasn't expecting this level of articulation with his, his head there. So very impressed with that. We've got him posed here, just kind of his, um, his fists out. The head sculpt is blown us away. The material of the costume is amazing. The paintwork is amazing. Can you tell I'm gushing here, guys? This cape is huge. I am going to have to futz with that a little bit because, it, I don't know, it feels a bit too big for, for the figure. Um, I'll have a bit play around with that. Here we've got him posed with the Havoc staff. What I would say is this Havoc staff is bloody massive. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge getting it into his hands and things. You can have him stand with it with one hand. Um, interestingly, I thought this would be how I want to display my skeletal with the Havoc staff, but I'm not overly blown away with this. So I'm not 100% sure. It's a nice piece, but it's not it's not blown us away. Here we've got him with the sword and the Havoc staff. This does look a little bit better, so actually I, I might just, yeah, ignore what I just said. I like it. Um, here we've got him. I took a photo of him posed with the Cosmic um, Key. <sighs> I'm not interested in the Cosmic Key because I hated Gwild or whatever you call him, but actually I love the look of this. This might be how I display him. That's a surprise to us. And no, stuff it. This is how I'm displaying him. Now you get tons of weapons with this guy. You get the Havoc staff. You get the um, the Bone Sword. You get the Master's Sword. You get the Cosmic Key and all that jazz. Um, but at the end of the day, that just looks amazing. I love these hands. I love the look of them. I think he looks stunning. I think I'm going to be displaying Skeletor without any weapons and all the rest of it. Just looking like an absolute monster um, nutcase. And yeah. Okay, guys, as you've guessed, love the figure. Let us know in the comments what you think. That is your whack. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.